What's going on my friends, DJ Lowstax here. Welcome back or to the channel. What I wanna talk about today is I feel that I finally found the perfect lighting source for the salsa booths. So if you're a DJ that owns a salsa or you're a DJ that's looking for getting into photo booths, the salsa is a great option. Runs off of an iPad, it's kind of set it and forget it, and they're great until it gets dark out. Uh, you definitely need some extra lighting once the, the room gets dark. You know, if, it, if it's a day, daytime event, your money. But once it starts getting dark out, especially in some of the venues that I'm at, they turn the lights off in the room, and I'm dealing with just the, or I'm working with, just the ring light on the salsa, and it's just not quite enough. So for a lot of my events, I've been bringing some extra lighting. I tried using the Astera tubes. Uh, those are great for this, but it's just kind of overkill, and I'd rather have those for my DJ setup. I've used some up lighting in the past to kind of light the backdrop. And then the last thing that I was using were these, which are great. These are, I'm not going to be able to pronounce this name, but Yongnu, uh, the, kind of these light wands. They run off the Sony battery packs. They work really well. I mean, they're, they're super bright. Um, they're super bright, as you can tell. I put them on tripod stands or mic stands, rather, with adapters. Um, these do a great job, but being battery powered, I've only been able to get about four hours out of one of these big batteries. So you do have to swap the batteries out periodically. Uh, and that's just no fun. So I think I found the perfect solution. And that's gonna be this right here. So this is a uh, Godox SL62D. Uh, and I've got a small, just, I think this is like a 24 inch Godox uh, soft box on it. And I found these newer light stands that are the perfect height and then I bought some white IEC cables. So what I wanna do today is I'm gonna do a little comparison here. I'm gonna turn this off, and we're in my basement right now. I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna take a sample picture with the salsa without the light to show you guys what it would, uh, basically just to try to simulate uh, what it would look like at an event if you didn't have any uh, added light. And then we're gonna try a picture with the light so I can show you the difference. Uh, and you can see for yourself how much of a change uh, it makes in these photos. Now uh, we're charging about $600 for the salsa, which I think is a fair price. You can probably get more for it in certain markets and there might be markets where you have to charge less, but uh, for 600 bucks, I feel like that's a pretty good investment and I want my pictures to look sharp. So. Uh, um, investing in some good lighting was something that was super important to me. And again, I think I finally found that solution. So uh, let's do this comparison. All right, guys, before I do these shots with the salsa, I want to show you how easy this Godox light packs up. Part of the reason I don't like those young new uh, strip lights or whatever, um, is because you have to carry those mic stands around with you. And the mic stands are kind of a pain in the butt. They got the big heavy base and they're just not easy to transport. You you can take them apart, but what are you gonna do with them? Uh, I just leave them together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how easy this breaks down. So it's basically just your normal, normal IEC cable. So you would just wrap that up. Uh, I got that plugged into the wall, so I'm, just, I'm not gonna bother wrapping that up. You know how those work. But this is super easy. So there's a little release on the, the soft box. You just pop that release. And then all you do from there is, this is Velcro in here. So you just release the Velcro. And in the middle here, there's this release. So you just pinch this. It folds right up like that and it comes with this bag. So slip it in the bag and then down here on the floor, this is actually our backdrop cases. So I ordered these bags from pbbackdrops.com. Shout out to those guys. Uh, but in here I keep the backdrop frame and then we've got a couple rolls of gaff tape. But my plan is to keep the softbox and then also the Godox light. So this will fit in here. And then the plan is this newer light should, light stand should fit in there as well.
So yeah, it all fits in the duffel just fine. And it also has these nice pockets on the outside. I usually keep the gaff tape in here, uh, but looks like the last person that used it just tossed it into the, the big compartment. But so now when you go into an event, you literally will have this and your salsa case, and that's it. So very easy setup, very easy tear down. So I'm gonna set this light back up now and we'll get these pictures and I wanna show you the comparison uh, because it really is a huge, huge, huge difference in the quality of the photos between just the ring light on the salsa and adding that external lighting. So now I had the lights off in the basement here. Well, half the lights. Uh, this is to supposed to be kind of to simulate what it would be like at an event once the venue shuts uh, the lights off in the space to uh, set that atmosphere for open dancing. So I've got just the salsa light going right now. The Godox light is off. So we're gonna do a sample picture here. And I'll overlay this. I'll overlay this picture over the screen here. And now we're gonna turn on our Godox light. And we're gonna take a picture with that so I can show you the difference. <laughs> All right, so I'll overlay those over the screen. Um, but another thing that I wanted to touch on today is just uh, if you don't own a salsa booth, you definitely should, or some sort of a photo booth. Uh, we actually have three of these. So I've got this one here uh, that we're doing this uh, demo with, and then I've got two more uh, sitting over here. And you know, we use them a ton. So most of our events, we add photo booth on, and we actually just started doing standalone photo booths as well, which is something that's kind of new to us, but we're doing the old set it and forget it model. So we're dropping them off, coming back and picking them up at the end of the event. Uh, we, yes, we have a clause in our contract about damage and all of that in case a guest or somebody uh, does damage it. And we also walk through uh, with the client on how to restart the app if it crashes or anything like that. They're definitely set it and forget it. Awesome investment. I'll leave a link down in the description uh, to purchase a salsa booth if, if you're interested. It is an affiliate link. I am an affiliate for these guys, uh, but I obviously stand by their product as I own three of them. And I'm definitely looking into their 360 booth as well. I think we're gonna be picking up one of those to add to the arsenal. Well, all right guys, that's all I have for you today. If you're new around here, please consider subscribing, click that like button and click that notification bell so you can get notifications of my upcoming videos. Peace.